Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasera Nation, the number one fan site and YouTube channel for Batasera's. So delighted that you could join us. Today's video is going to be a quick update to Sega Model 3 emulation. Indeed, the last time we exposed Sega Model 3 was back in May of 2022 when I shared a rather complicated process to get some of the non-working games up and running. Needless to say, it was a band-aid solution to a pesky Sega Model 3 emulation guide. Well, the good news is that with Bata Sera 35, the developers went a new direction with Sega Model 3. That is, Super Mario now requires a main 0.245 compatible game set. This has made life so much easier, and Sega Model 3 now runs perfectly in Bata Sera 35 and above without any hassle or trouble. Consequently, if some of your favorite Sega Model 3 games have given you a hard time in the past, then this quick tutorial will offer you the perfect solution. Are you ready? Let's do it! Alright, so we're about to set a website, a change log page, and as I mentioned earlier, Sega Model 3 now requires main 0.245 compatible game set. Okay? The easiest way to find that is to go to our trusted site, Internet Archive, and then on the search feature, go ahead and type Sega Model 3 Chad Master. Uh, and then it's going to be the second hit right here, this one right here. And from there, on the zip file, click on that. Don't worry about the second one. Just go ahead and download this right here. Okay. Once you download that and unzip everything, and you'll get this right here. Okay. It's a complete game set right there. Now, you might want to go through your set right here and look for the ones that have a J in the name. Okay. Like this one right here or this one right here. Notice that J right there at the end of the title. That usually means it's a Japanese version of the game. And of course, if you're non-Japanese, you may want to go ahead and delete those. Okay, or you can keep it, it's up to you, all right? Once you unzip everything, then we'll copy this to Batacetta folder, all right? So let's go ahead and load up Batacetta and let's get this up and running. All right, so we're in Batacetta. Let's go ahead and press F1, your keyboard, and go into your folder there where all your games are located. And model three, and just go ahead and copy your games to this folder right here. All right, let's go ahead and close this out, and then of course press start in gamepad, go into game settings, update games list. That's it. All right, and from there, and there it is right there. And from there, go ahead and press the select button in your gamepad, and from there, go to advanced system options. Uh, and these are the settings I've got. So for video mode, depending upon your TV and monitor, select the appropriate one. In this case, this is a 1080p monitor. I've got it to set to 1080p. Decorations, I've got the uh, decoration set to RK 1980s, okay? Everything else set to auto. Widescreen, hack, auto. Rumble, auto. 3D engine, I got it set to new 3D. Quad rendering, I got it set to on. Model pedal controls, I can also set that to on, and then these last two to auto. All right, now once you've got this set up, then of course you're gonna have to go through the entire list and uh test uh the games out. Some of the files, of course, are not games, but they work with the game set, so you have to just go ahead and hide it. So, for example, if I want to hide something, I want to have to go ahead and press the A button on your gamepad, hold it down, and from there, going to edit this game's metadata. And from there, go to the bottom where it says hidden. And of course, select yes, right? And then, of course, save it, all right? So, therefore, let me go ahead and go through an entire list and just go ahead and hide things I need to hide uh, and rearrange everything here, all right? So, let me go ahead and do that. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and press start and gamepad, go into game settings, update games list, and now everything's set just the way I want it. Okay. 
Something loads up. Everything works. All right, let me go ahead and load up Scud Rays. Let me show you something. You can see there, it looks like it's not working, right? It says cancel network port. I'm going to do it again. You think, oh, I got, maybe I got the wrong ROM set. No, it turns out it's okay. On your keyboard, either you put, you have to press 6 or 7, not F6, not F7, but either 6 or 7, and that will get you into the system menu. So in this case, it was number keyboard number 6. Uh, and then number 5 controls which one you select, okay? So then you go into, let's see, game assignments. Go into game assignments, select it with number six. And then he says, well, you see what it says, link ID? Uh, make sure, using the number six, make sure you put single, okay? Single. And the country there, you can also choose USA. Difficulty. This is true for the games um, on Sega Model 3. You can choose the difficulty. Hard, hardest. Yeah, okay, I'm a wimp. I like it easy. All right. Get out of there. Pressing 5 gets out. Uh, you can select it to exit. Press 6 to exit. Coin assignments. Coin assignments. No, that thing's good. Exit it there. So the main two you're going to be looking at is these two. Game assignments and coin assignments, right? Once you finish, press six, that will exit test mode, and you're good to go. All right, now let me go ahead and go, go to Star Wars. Uh, and let me also show you something quickly to set this one up. Go ahead and press 7 again. And let's go to Calibration Test. Select 7. Let's go up with 8. You can change your flip level. Up goes down, down goes up, or up goes up and down goes down. Kind of like it the way it is for default. Okay, and then go to 8, set up calibration. Choose 7. And then it tells you to center your controller. Uh, sometimes your gamepad will do it, right? Uh, but if you notice that the gamepad is just not working in terms of setting these controls, then use a mouse. Plug in the mouse with the keyboard, okay? And then with a the mouse, move it around and try to center it. Go around, and then just try to center it. And then press 8. And then from there, use your gamepad, the right analog stick, move it around. And then press 8 again. And then 7. And then go back to 8, and exit. And then go back to 8 again, go to the bottom, exit, and press 7. And that should do it, okay? And that's how it's done. Now, then, you may have to play with that one around a little bit more just to get it just right in terms of your controls, all right? All right, let me go ahead and show you another game that's a bit different. It's this one right here. In fact, there's about two three files from this game set right here. Uh, but this is the one that works in terms of the actual gameplay. The other ones you may actually want to go ahead and hide them. So it's von2a.zip, all right? And go ahead and load it up. Now, for this one, for some reason, it takes a while for it to load up, but it does work. It takes about a minute to a minute and a half for it to load up. But So just be patient with it until it loads up, and you will be able to have some fantastic gameplay as well. And there it goes. This takes also a few seconds before the game finally loads up. So again, just be patient while it's loading up. 
All right, we're there. And you see there, it does load up. Back, let me go ahead and show you some gameplay. All right, you see that it does work. So again, just be patient while it loads up. Well, that's a wrap. I suspect from this point forward, I will no longer need to address Sega Model 3 emulation about the setup. It's finally fixed and running smooth as butter. Thank you, developers. If you found this video useful, then please go ahead and like it. That will really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from about the Setup Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel as well as the website BatistanaNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batistan is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Batistana. As a matter of fact, next time I will be covering another emulator that's gone through a major overhaul in Batistana 35. And in fact, it has made emulation life so much easier. Which one am I talking about? Find out next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about the Senate Nation. Bye.